Hello everyone, I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. Y'all know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal read from me, hit that description box down below. Check out my motherfucking website, LaRellsMoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. Massage for my water gods, baby. Yes, honey, yes. One more time. All right, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see what's going down. You already know how I do keep in mind the time is fluid. Patterns change, people change, and so do the motherfucking cards. We're going to start out with um, the Romance Angels, like I always do. Open up from there with the message and tarot, and then uh, possible outcomes. So y'all already know. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for the 16th through the 17th. Let's see what's going down, baby. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So some of you all are more concerned about your coin than you are your love life. Okay. Um, some of you all definitely could be, you know, reaching to figure out what you need to do instead of being worried about some damn uh 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 love. Okay. Also, past life relationship. You've known each other before. Water signs. So, past life, you could have seen this motherfucker in the grocery store 10 years ago. Uh, you could have met each other uh, at the racetrack. I don't know what the fuck. But you guys could have, this is picking up the energy of someone who's known this person before. And also, trust. Trust this situation is calling for you to have faith. So, let's see what's going down, babies. We're going to check out finances and career first. For my water sign. Cancer, Pisces, motherfucking Scorpio. New vitality. I love it. So you guys are feeling refreshed. There could be some new energy that's coming in for you. There's uh, some different elements, some different factors that you're concerned about more than you are in love. Okay, but definitely a new vibe. Coming up in this bitch with a daily vibe. Okay. So. Could be having a new spirituality. A new um, beginning. You definitely could be thinking about some things here. Okay. You could be seeking something new. But it's coming in new. With this new vitality. So. New, 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 new up in this bitch. <laughs> but I feel like um, there's a message that's surrounding you. Or there could be messages that are surrounding you with all of these birds that you're seeking. Could be within your finances, your career, could be starting something new. Or there could be a new path that's awakening, okay? Uh, I also feel like there's some well-deserved rewards. For some of you water signs, you might have detached yourself to get away from certain dramas. Uh, certain things that, you know, were hindering you from... Keeping everything fresh, all right? Could have been dramas, people, words, people's actions, your actions, whatever the case may be, whatever it is, it's well-deserved. There's new vitality coming in. Some of you all could have definitely detached from the world to get this new vitality, all right? Um, but also in this past life relationship, it could be some challenging times. Someone could be guarded here, all right? I do feel like there is some sort of balance that someone is having to maintain with two different things, two different people. Could be two different energies as well. Uh, but in that past life, it could be that someone is revealing um, a lot of fears uh, that you've been um, blocking yourself from. Also could be, uh, you know, a motherfucker who needs to balance themselves, but also the struggle You're going to find balance in that struggle, okay, within this past life relationship. Or there could be some deep dark fears that you're uncovering 
that are in connection to this past life relationship, okay? That duality. So let's see what you need to trust. Okay, so some of y'all could be feeling helpless and hopeless in this situation that you're trying to trust, okay? That you might feel you have to break some freedom or get some sort of freedom here, okay? So let's see what, um, what Tarot has to say. We're going to start out with the uh, finances and career. So, I'm a little parched in my throat area, my throat chakra. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So, ooh, new beginnings, abundance up in this bitch. Nine of, wow, these cards are flipping out. Okay, so manifesting manifestations with this magician energy here with your finances and your career your focus on what you need to manifest it could be something new starting something new could be with a possible uh just within your own essence okay could be with a possible virgo taurus capricorn with the nine of pentacles also uh with the nine of cups there could be some wish fulfillment that's well deserved coming your way okay things could have been moving kind of slow but you're definitely starting to analyze, you know, what you can progress into as time goes along. Okay, so your finances and your career, detaching away from things and studying uh, your futuristic behaviors, your futuristic finances is definitely what I'm seeing here. Those well-deserved behaviors. Someone could be coming to come uh, cater to you, serve you. Listen to me, like some of you all could have been a slave to your job with the devil energy of the nine of cups. Okay. But there is somebody who's definitely starting a new beginning with that empress, okay? Full energy, queen of wands. So you're getting your passion back. You Stella got her motherfucking growth back up in this bitch, all right? Uh, I feel like you're just going along with the flow. Being beautiful, all right? Keeping your eye on the prize. It's definitely what I'm seeing here because you know you have rewards and new vitality coming towards you, especially with that empress energy, water signs. So let's see um, what this past life relationship, what's going on with that. Here we go. Page of Swords. So somebody could be uncovering what you and your partner are sharing. There could be somebody who's uh, spying on you, researching some things here. Um, it could be that there's challenging times that someone's not really uncovering what they need to talk about with this person. Definitely could be guarded, okay? Page of Swords up in this bitch. So someone's definitely spying on you, water signs. I've been getting that in a lot of the readings here lately for a lot of my water signs. <clears throat> so they're looking on your social media page. They're watching you. They can be driving by your house, digging in your trash can. But someone is still holding on tight, even though you've kind of broken free from this situation or you just want to get some, uh, gain some insight, or there could be some insight that you might gain. Look how he has the light. Look how the light's coming out of that. Also could be rebirthing some things with that snake. Okay. Somebody could be being a snake and they, uh, you know, you feel like they have to watch you. These are those deepest, darkest fears that you're dealing with. That lone wolf. Okay. With the snakes in the mist. But definitely someone that you feel like you have to watch. Like they feel like they the grass might be greener on the other side. And there's snakes in that motherfucker. Snakes in the grass in that motherfucker. Okay. And uh, I said it first. Okay. Yes, honey. Yes. So some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who thinks that the grass is greener on the other side. Or they thought that the grass was greener on the other side. But it was really snakes in the motherfucking grass. Okay. And that's what the fuck they ass get. Now, for some of you guys, it could be an ending overall. Or you feel like uh, someone could be backstabbing you and it turns into uh, you having to break free from the situation. Four of Swords coming in reverse. Also, Ten of Swords here. So some of you all could have been awaiting uh, someone or waiting some sort of results. That it was uncovering a lot of deep dark fears. It could have been loneliness. It could have been uh, you breaking into freedom. But for some of you guys, my dad put that music on that um, on my dryer and on the washing machine. So um, 
um, for some of you guys, there's definitely a, a new start or some sort of new beginning, even though you've closed yourself off to this person or you feel like it's like somebody's not really focused on you. All right. Past life relationship. Um, I feel like the focus is somebody is closing themselves off. Definitely someone who's emotional. Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. Yeah, somebody's definitely thinking of this person um, or they could be messaging out uh, a third party situation or they feel as though, you know, they're really immature. They're not really ready for a relationship or the relationship started on something uh, very, uh, very rocky. OK, but uh, there's definitely someone who wasn't, you know, on that equal reposity is what I'm seeing here with the six of pentacles, also with the strength energy having. A lot of uh, inner struggles with confidence. All right. So definitely could be dealing with a Leo here. Let's see what this trust is all about. Also, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. King of Swords. It's saying uh, to trust this situation. There's going to be something you just need to break free from for a little bit of time. Uh, I feel like there's going to be some movement happening here with that chariot energy. You guys could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. A lot of water. Very prominent here. Also, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Leo. Capricorn, Aries, Virgo, all the major arcanas here. Uh, but with this trust situation, there's something you need to trust because someone's going through a process with the judgment energy, also with the 10 of cup energy here in the, the reverse. Um, someone is not really grasping, uh, their hopelessness or feeling alone or their emotions without other people. Look at all these people that's on the card. So yeah, judgment, all these people that are falling out of the sky, well, they're not falling, but they're kind of, you know, in midair. You're kind of awaiting this uh, thought or this process that this person is going through. So it kind of puts you through this hopeless, hopelessness. But there's going to be a transformation that, that you need to trust, okay? Could be a lot of people, a lot of struggles for some of you water signs I'm seeing here. So trust the process. Some of you guys are a star, right? Or you could be celebrated, could be popular, but trust the process is what it's saying here. Temperance energy, you guys are getting the game, your balance, okay? So let's see about possible outcomes. Here we go. Possible outcomes for my water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, 16th through the 17th. Daily, motherfucking vibe. All right, here we go. Seven of Pentacles. So there is someone who's contemplating a situation uh, you know, that you could have been stuck with. You could have been, um, really thinking about how things are going to come into fruition. I feel like you're analyzing this. You're definitely recovering from some sort of heartbreak. Some of you all could be just having that thought that comes through that you're healing. Okay. But really analyzing si situations that could be at a distance or someone who could be distant from you. Um, tower energy in reverse, feeling like things aren't really going anywhere or there's no change that's happening between you and this person. Definitely could be some sort of third party situation here with the three of wands or someone is expanding towards a third party situation or waiting for their ships to come in. But I feel like there could be somebody who has a tie over a third party or someone has got you entrapped in that for some of you guys. But you could see it as someone's letting go as well with the devil energy. Okay, but there's a toxicity that has you close and connected. Yeah, two of cups, emperor energy. Two of cups, emperor energy is indicating to me someone wants a connection here. Okay, someone could own their own business. They could be into their business, but definitely this is what that finances and career is all about. All right. But I feel for a lot of you guys, there could be a major decision that's going to happen. Okay, it could be some sexual energy here. Knight of wands, ace of wands coming in. So somebody might be wanting to hook up with you, baby, but you're having to make these decisions, okay? All right, Water Signs, I love you guys. I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal read, hit that description box, baby, and check out my website. I'll see you guys in the next video.